Hello there, this is Dr. Mintz. This is a patient who presented with abdominal pain. This is a CT abdomen and pelvis. We'll get a little overview to start out with and give you a general picture of what we're dealing with here. Okay, that's one pass and then we'll go back up through it. There's obviously a dilated viscous, meaning a loop of bowel or segment of bowel of some sort that has debris in it. We'll get back to that. First, let's make sure we cover all of our ground and comment on the liver. It appears unremarkable, although there's, there's probably a little tiny cyst there. The liver otherwise appears okay. The spleen and the pancreas. Appear unremarkable. Patient is apparently status post cholecystectomy. I don't see a gallbladder, but the common bile duct is a little prominent there, about, probably about 12 millimeters. The adrenal glands, let's see, here's the adrenal gland on the right, that little line, that's part of it. Here's another part of the, another line here. Uh, and then on the, on the left, that, that looks fine too adrenal glands and abdominal aorta appear unremarkable. We see a cyst of the right kidney measuring looks like about two and a half centimeters. We would measure that though, of course. Kidneys otherwise appear unremarkable. As we course down through from the top to the bottom here, you can see the lumbar spine tends to turn off to the left in that way, and that's an indication of some degree of, of um, scoliosis. Okay, so now, what's going on here? Well, this looks like a dilated viscous. Uh, it could be a portion of colon, uh, possibly the right colon, possibly cecum, hard to tell. Let's look at a coronal series here. Take a look at this coronal. And this really illuminates things here. So you have this dilated viscous here filled with stool. So that's obviously some kind of obstruction. Uh, this looks like it could be the cecum flipped up, kind of flipped up superiorly. And this is all stool and debris in that um, dilated cecum. That's, that's my proposal here. Here you have a little cleavage plane that looks like that could be where the ileocecal valve might be. It looks like this is cecum that has flipped upward into the right upper quadrant. Uh, and how would that happen? Why would that happen? Well, if you look here, this is a very dramatic finding here. Focus your eyes right on this area right here, and you see a twirling. And then we go back one way, and you see a twirling. We go back another way, and you see this kind of a whirlpool kind of appearance. So what this is, is this is a portion of the cecum and right colon that have twisted on its mesentery, and the, the cecum specifically has twisted and this has caused the cecum to flip all the way up into the right upper quadrant and it's a little hard to follow this any farther than back to this point where we see that whirling so, sort of whirlpool appearance of vessels in the mesentery but it's clear that what we have here is a volvulus and the cecum is flipped up into the right upper quadrant and the rotation involved in that process has, has caused it to kind of kink and the bowel is at risk of vascular compromise because when you twist the mesentery like this and the associated vessels uh, you can obstruct vascular flow, of course. 
So that's the finding here. This is a patient then with cecal volvulus and uh, rotation of the cecum superiorly into the right upper quadrant and this very dramatic finding of this torsion or this twirling around of the tissue that anchors the cecum to the mesentery. Okay.